what's up scrappy peeps it's Delph minky quill and today i'm scrapping one of my fave photos of archie it's a very candid shot of him and his little tootsie because that darn foot is just everywhere when he's in the pram he pops a foot up when he's in the high chair pops a foot up when he's in his car seat pops a foot up he is very rarely without a foot in his hand at this um, stage he's kind of grown out of it a little bit um, but during so this was December last year and he was obsessed with his foot so this was when I was filming a few videos this day using my Christmas stash because I was working on my 2017 album and uh, I needed some to actually use my Christmas stash because believe it or not this Christmas stuff is from not last year maybe not the year before I think it was the year before maybe 2015 16 something like that and I just want to get through it and Christmas stuff isn't always uh, usable for the rest of the year sometimes you can make it work but you can't always slap a Santa on a page and call it February because it does it's not appropriate doesn't work out so what I'm doing is I've got this text paper that I absolutely adore I don't know what brand it is but it's got little blue writing it's old well it old in my stash I only started scrapbooking in 2013 and I didn't start traditional layouts until the end of 2015 uh, so old in my stash may not be as old as some others that have been scrapbooking for years and have an amazing collection of goodies but I, I need to get it used so I did a bit of stenciling there and I've got ink on my stencil so why not pop some in my use it up journal just to get another background done because I'm lazy and I love it when something's already half done and I can just jump in add a little bit to it and call it complete so I'm adding this stencil I think this one's from Flutter by Designs I think uh, from their release one of their releases last year possibly and it's just a really nice thin a thin one I do love a good circle stencil I have so many of them it's not funny and the good thing about this dilutions paint and using it with the Ranger blending tool is that it dries really quickly the trick is to have barely any paint on the blending tool uh, it may seem like you've got nothing on there but that's what you want that's how you get a clear image through your stencil so I'm using a wood grain that's got a bit of a blue tinge to it and the thing I really love about black and white photos is you can make your layout whatever color you like because I like blue I decided to go with blue but I often make my photos black and white when uh, there's too many colors going on it's a dark photo or it's a bit grainy it's always nice to just change the saturation and I just do that on my phone because uh, this photo was taken on my phone and Bob's your uncle you're all done is Bob's your uncle an Australian saying because people are not going to understand that reference if it is um, but adding some tape here and a little doily because I can't do anything without doilies apparently and I'm just sticking that down now this a lot of people do ask that are new subscribers to my channel what do I do with these odd shaped layouts this is a 6 by 12 inch one and there are specific page protectors made by Project Life by Becky Higgins that are 6 by 12 and there's also some that are made by American Crafts that are designed to store thickers in so I add this layout to my album I have one set of albums for the year we say albums because you all know I can't stick to one album for one year uh, and I put everything in there I put my project life I put my layouts I put cards ephemera postcards everything and anything I do have one flip through over here on YouTube of my January 2016 album which will give you an idea so just search inky quill album flip through on YouTube and it'll pop up if you haven't seen that already uh, and then over on patreon I do a flip through of my albums every single month so I put it all together and the reason why I like that is because I had in 2015 yep yeah, 15 because that's when I started doing layouts um, I must have started doing layouts at the end of 2014 December 
Yes, that was it. So 2015, I tried to do one album of Project Life, not one, but you know, separate album for Project Life and a separate album for layouts. And I found that I was double scrapping everything and I needed to change it because 2015 Project Life is a fail. I got up to March and that was it because I was kind of doubling my workload. So I have got a video, if it's not already up now, it will be up soon of my printing process. I've filmed it. I've just got to do the last little bit on my phone. So stay tuned for that. And I kind of go through, I've got two videos. I've got one on my project life process about how I, it's a very chatty one, uh, going through how I come up with what photos to print and all of that and what I do first. And then I've got another video that's going to be all about printing. So they will be up at some point. I'm adding my title here. These are, I think it was a Dear Lizzie thicker that had a word remember on it. And I'm just using my food ball pen I think it's 1.5 it's very very thick uh, in just to do that that little because the problem that I have with alphas is I go through T's too 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 quickly I don't know what I'm what I write with lots of T's maybe little I must do little and I think I do smitten a lot and I must just do a lot of double T words because I, I run out of T's they're one of the first letters that I run out of all the time and so Whenever I can get away with writing words that have a lot of, I guess, popular letters in them, uh, I do because I don't have to go through my thickers that way. So I called this one Remember That Little Footsie because that little footsie was a very important part of Archie's life for quite a few months and it still is, but particularly at this point. I'm going through my Christmas embellishments here because you can see the Christmas tree in the background. So just because you're scrapbooking Christmas photos doesn't mean they have to scream at Christmas and everyone's wearing red and green in front of the Christmas tree. Grant you, I do have some of those photos that I need to get scrapped. And one of the layouts that I filmed this day uh, when I filmed this one is Archie in an elf costume, which is very red and green. But sometimes you can have Christmas photos that aren't very Christmassy just have a little hint of Christmas in them so when you're picking which photos you want to scrapbook and maybe you're someone that doesn't um, enjoy the traditional red and green Christmas colors or you're just kind of sick of Christmas try and put a photo in black and white because it gives you a little bit more freedom with how you can embellish it and uh, what papers and colors you can do to coordinate with it so I'm adding a few little tiny embellishments here, a few little blue stars and hearts and things. And this layout, because it's 6x12, there's not a great deal of space on there. Even though the photo I'm using is only 3x4, it's still small. But there's still, once you've done a big title, my title is almost is basically the same size as my photo space. So there's not really a, a great deal of uh, room for embellishments. So if you're someone who doesn't enjoy embellishing as much or you prefer to have your layouts a little bit more simple, give 6x12 a, si a, a size, give 6x12 a go and you might be surprised uh, by actually enjoying it. So I'm adding here a little bit of journaling using my Stadler pigment liner, probably in a 0.3 or 0.2 size. They come in lots of different sizes, which is handy. And I'm almost finished here, but it needed, it needed a little something else. So I've grabbed my little Dilutions ink pad, which is my favorite black ink at the moment. And I'm going through my roll stamps because one of my scrappy resolutions was to use my stamps more often. I haven't used my stamps as often as I would like, but I am trying to use my roller stamps. Oh, my phone's getting lots of emails. I am trying to use my roller stamps when I'm feeling too lazy to get up and go get my stamps out of my craft room because I feel like it's a compromise. Look, we're not going the full, you know, <laughs> the full game there with using lots of stamps from my craft room, but I'm still stamping in some kind of way because... I don't know about you guys but uh, stamps were a downfall for me for a long time I was obsessed with buying them I actually used to do stamping up classes I did two different ones actually one with my mother-in-law and one with my friend Courtney and I bought so many stamps at those because everything looks so beautiful in the brochures and my stamping up 
uh, teacher, Ellen, shout out to you because I know you're watching this. Um, she was incredible and she could do all these things with stamps. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that stamp set and do the same thing. And then it sits brand new in my stash because I wasn't brave enough to do things with them. So I really want to get my stamps used and and put them on layouts because I've got a beautiful collection and I need to actually use them. So do it with me, guys. Use your stamps in 2018. Adding this washi and my washi tape has lost its stick. So it needs a bit of help. It needs some extra gluing and sticking that down and a bit of high shine because, you know, nothing's complete without a little bit of Heidi shine in my albums. <laughs> I I reckon I could count the number of layouts that I haven't put Heidi shine on that I have made in the last, mm, let's go, year and a half. I could count them on two hands. Oh, maybe my feet too because I have made a lot of layouts, but there's not many that don't have gold Heidi shine on them. So the layout's all done. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a, it's a fun little take on Christmas that isn't overly Christmassy, but just has a few little hints of the festive season. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and that you get to make something crafty or creative this week. And I will see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Bye.